So there might be some things. Uh, yes. Are you forgot to open the microphone? Thank you. You are correct. Hello, shalom, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time it is for you. Hello, i um, excited for this video. This video is going to be a day in my life. I feel like a lot of y'all have been asking, you know, like, what's the school life like? What's your apartment like? Right now on my balcony, it is about 7.45, which is usually the time I'd be walking to work. So I'm gonna take you just, you know, little bits throughout my day. Um, yeah i hope you enjoy uh hopefully i'm not forgetting anything this is my fit all right when you see me go to work it'll be giving um i don't know how to say like little house on the prairie chic all right in thailand we have to cover our shoulders and our legs and we have to women have to wear skirts or dresses and or dresses i heard that as a foreign teacher i get to wear skirts if i want to or dresses if i want to or something so i will show you my outfits um and yes we're gonna go ahead and get started see how the sun is hits okay wait it's not hitting right now uh it's about to hit in a second this is my walk okay this is where i'm going that's how i'm getting there walking um yeah okay so yes today we are continuing with hybrid learning so most of the students i think all of them got covid tested most of them are vaccinated but every week we switch off i will i am teaching middle school essentially here they call it matium one two three ish that's about seventh grade eighth grade and ninth grade um so those are the three grades that i have and today i am doing matiam one which is just seventh graders and this week for the seventh graders they are at home so all day today i'll be doing zoom learning which is fun all right i'm walking with my camera people stare at me already but walking being black and walking with a camera I feel like people <laughs> are really like <laughs> but it's fine um so yes walking to work we'll have zoom today show you a little bit of me lesson planning which is what I have to do um, before I have class in 30 minutes <laughs> well I lesson plan I just have to like write everything out so you'll see me do that you'll see me do some zoom teaching and yes Lego All right, so I am in the classroom. Um, what's interesting about our school is that we have to Zoom from the actual school. So you saw me walking in, all these things at my teacher desk in the teacher office. And now I'm about to have my Zoom. So I'm gonna show you what I see, okay? So this is me. Oh, hey, okay. Uh, my students are currently in the waiting room. They always take forever. So I'm just gonna wait. There's like 11 people in the room. There should be like, okay, let me let it focus. There's like 12 people in the room now. It's not really focusing, but it's okay. There we go. And then this is the classroom. So I'm chilling in here by myself. Usually when we're Zooming, we just either go to the library or find an empty classroom. So now I'm about to teach my economics lesson. So um, this is the seventh graders. We're learning about social studies and this unit is all about economics. We're gonna go over budgeting, um, vocabulary words. I'm gonna show a little video. And yeah, this is what we're doing. This is what life looks like. So here we go. All right, so the way our classes work is we essentially have double periods. Okay, so I just had a class, my first class with my seventh graders. We learned about economics, like I said. And then now I'm about to have that same exact class with a different group of seventh graders, okay? So they essentially just break all the students up. I have about 20 to 30 students in each class. 
So there's essentially 50 to 60 um, students, like seventh graders. And instead of just having like one huge class of 50 or 60, they split it up into two classes of around 25 to 30 students, okay? So that is what I'm about to have. Um, my second group of seventh graders. So I will show you a little bit of my lesson and taking attendance. Hun? Here. All right, thank you. Phone three? Here. View two? Here. Hello, everyone. Welcome back. Today, we are going to learn about budgeting. All right, we're going to continue our lesson on economics and we're going to talk about budgeting, um, making a budget, loans, credit cards, things like this. Okay, so what I want you to all do now is open your Google Classroom. Okay, I posted an assignment um, on Google Classroom that we will all work on together. Okay, to take home things that we need we might go to the grocery store and get food what do we have to do to get that food what do we have to do to get that candy or to get that water or to get that skateboard what do you need to do i need some participation here what do you need to do in order to take that item with you What do you need to do to take that item with you from the store? You go to want to go to the store, you want to get some water, you want to get some juice. Okay, you put it on the counter at 7-Eleven. What do they expect now from you? All right, anybody? 2,000 years later. Do we steal the item? Do we pick it up and run out of the store with it? Okay, yeah, no, we wouldn't do that, right? Okay, we purchase it. We purchase it, we pay for it. Put a blank on the amount that people can borrow. again okay hello so now I have my second class um, Tuesday for Tuesday I have class early in the morning first thing in the morning which is what you saw me do earlier and then I have class at the end of the day and my Monday and Tuesday schedule are basically the same except I meet with different students so today I'm again meeting with the seventh graders so I actually saw them earlier today I taught them about economics and social studies. Now I'm going to teach them about English, reading and writing. I am tired. <laughs> I usually, I feel like this is usually in the day where I start to get like, okay, tired. You know, I have my little, I don't really like drinking coffee all the time. I only do it in emergencies. I have my little green tea a little bit still. Um, and I think that's the thing with Zoom learning, like having to sit is like, nice honestly but then it's like I, it makes me more tired so i find myself around this time usually having to like stand up and like move around and stuff but yeah i'm about to teach them english reading and writing about to have them do a little writing activity um and yeah after this class then i'll have another one with the second group of seventh graders and then i will be done for the day i'm off at 3 10 that's when like we have no more classes but we usually will stay until four usually i think we have to stay until four except some like fridays so after i'm done honestly by the time i'm done with school i'll be just sitting <laughs> at my desk just listening to music uh, or just like you know decompressing before I either go to the gym later today or like today I have to go to the bank and actually set up a Thai bank account. So um, usually yeah, I'll just like sit and chill for that last 50 minutes uh, while before we can leave. But today who knows, I might feel like doing some work. So we'll see. Um, these kids are joining the Zoom call. So let me go ahead and 
start class. Next, after we saw or see the big dragon, we either walk or walked around the museum. We'll just start with the first one. After we saw or see the big dragon. Jing Jing. So. That is correct. After we saw the big dragon, this is past tense. After we saw the big dragon. All right, so I'm officially done today with my day. As you can see, Zoom learning is not easy. <laughs> There are times when students really don't want to participate. There are a lot of people who are just absent. And I will say my school in particular right now we're doing hybrid. So that makes it even a little bit more complicated too because like last week, the people I had today, my seventh graders were in class. So when they're in class, it's a lot easier for the participation to happen because they're not as distracted. But at home, like, they could be watching TV, of course. They're just they're just not really there and present. And it just makes, I think, being a teacher right now in the COVID times, like, of course, harder. So <laughs> I think a lot of teachers are experiencing this. And I will say, I even have the privilege of knowing that, like, I will see them. So there are certain lessons that I can save for when they're in person, which would be a lot better to do in person. Um, but yeah, it's like having to get creative and just really call on people i usually wouldn't just call on people like that but like i said because of the participation i really want them to know this um and to just like really learn these like you know things about present tense like it's kind of it's it's honestly when i call on them they are more like they know like they have to participate which is good <laughs> um especially when i call on them randomly like that so yes day in the life um overall the thai students are really nice though um teaching here is just very respected unlike america kind of even though i respect teachers but i feel like not a lot of people do so in general i feel like the kids are relatively like respectful um especially when they're in person they always like before class they'll always be like thank you or, or hello teacher good afternoon and at the end they'll always be like thank you teacher which is nice um of course there are some behavioral issues here and there but it's not like i'm having to like fight kids <laughs> like usually i'll just say something and then they're like okay um so yeah so that's a day of teaching all right trying this Delicious. All good. 